Hey, it's Luke. I just wanted to do this uh, quick video about a plugin that's actually built into Ableton. I'm not sure which versions this has. This is a uh, Live 11 suite, but um, it's worth checking even if you have the intro version just to see if this is in there. I didn't know this was uh, in Ableton and until somebody was asking about it on Reddit and I was actually going to suggest something uh, that I've used in the past and then somebody mentioned that this was here. So uh, thanks to, <laughs> to the person who mentioned this because I did not know this was uh, built in and it's, it's so easy to find, it's so easy to set up. So um, it's if you're looking to, uh, if you're trying out different keys and you're playing on your piano, whatever, or Ableton push, and you want to know which chord you're playing. Um, this is this is so easy. So all you do is you go into uh, MIDI effects here and uh, look for MIDI mo MIDI monitor. If it's not there, you can just you can just search real quickly. You bring that in, and uh, I'll get rid of the second one, but. And basically anything you you do, so let's uh, well actually here, let's do D minor. So this here should be should be D minor. Um, we're looking at the triad here. Oops, I'm sorry if that was a little loud. So you can see here on MIDI monitor, um, you can see that it tells you it's D minor. And I do a lot of deep house music, so you're using a lot of the, the seventh chords, ninth. So if we go, so basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this will be the seventh chord here. We're doing the ninth chord. And we can even go to the 11th. So, and it'll go, no matter what you do, if you're doing some sort of inversions. So. Once in a while, you can't really recognize what what you're playing. Even this weird one here. <laughs> it just happened on this. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so the only thing I noticed is I don't think it'll go any more complex than 11 chords. This is sort of tough to do, but um, here. This here is going to be the 11th. This would be a 13th chord, and it just doesn't doesn't recognize it. So you can tell there's some stuff that doesn't, it, it doesn't recognize, but um, you can really get a good idea of, of which... Uh, which which chord you're playing and uh yeah so basically so yeah b flat major seventh there we go <laughs> this is a i don't think i've ever ever played this chord but uh sounds really nice i might use that so anyways that hopefully can help you out and uh it can help you recognize which which chords are playing it could be useful for learning chords and everything and especially on ableton push you can sort of learn little patterns here and there and try to figure out what what you're playing um and it it'll help you on a piano i've got this on scales mode so any of these any of these keys are automatically in the d minor scale but if you're on a piano um you can basically use it and figure out if you're uh if you're playing a natural chord or if that chord is in the key that you're trying to play um so it could be it'd be great it could be great for learning it could be great for uh for whatever it, it's basically taking midi and oh the other thing i noticed here is if i add so if i have so this is a d minor here this here becomes d minor seventh but if i do this and I add that seventh while that can while that um, that chord is still playing. It will actually tell me. So you don't have to you don't have to start over and put the new chord in. You can just add keys as you go and try to figure out where you know what what you're you're doing here. So so here we've got B flat major seventh and. realize that just adding this one turns it from D minor to B flat major seventh. 
So it'd definitely be useful. So hopefully that can help you out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.